a bustling life with a city named Saigon, Vietnam. There was a girl born in a family full of love and warmth. Her parents named her their fourth daughter Kỷ Niệm, meaning memories, with the hope that all the moments in her life would be beautiful memories on her journey to adulthood. Kỷ Niệm grew up in the boundless love of her parents and then the care of her three older sisters. Her eldest sister named Bình Yên, meaning peace, wishes for the families to always have a place of tranquility to return to no matter how turbulent life may become. The second sister was named Hạnh Phúc, meaning happiness. As for her, having a family and peace was true happiness. Soon after, their family welcomed The third member named Hoi Uk, meaning remembrance, who was also a beautiful, adorable girl. Remembrance are Edith Ben's able in life. All joy, sorrow, and pain become memories. Whether good or bad, as human always move forward to the future, making memory as essential part of our journey to adulthood. When choosing this name, the father was inspired by two lines from the poem "The Sun Will Rise" by Crystal A. J. Smith. It goes, "Our past will be in our past through never forgotten. Our future will be our future, and with hope and gratitude that we will move forward and keep on going, picking back, learning from people's mistake." Memories grew up with virtues of kindness, warmth, and abundance, positive energy. She had a peaceful childhood, spending her day working and playing with her parents on the beautiful and compassionate land of her homeland. Fresh from the mountain, the sun in the morning, brightened with life, to start the day with such a breeze, the wind in my hair, the coming in the morning. No boundary of or worries. Every evening, the father would read poetry to four of the sisters before bedtime. So they grew up with love for poetry and the romance of their parents at the cultural foundation that persisted within their family. Cultural belongings and individual experience shaped the character and the attitude of the family members. Thus, the sister was like sunshine in the morning, always cheerful, positive, and full of love. However, the rosy life of the family began to change the color when the three daughters had to step out into the outside world. They began to step out of the membranes of their parents, the safety of their own self, the elder sister peace, reaching the age to get married. She met a handsome Taiwanese man. Conscientious and responsible, he wanted to take care of her for the rest of their life. So, af- so after a short period of dating, he came to ask her family for permission to marry her. Although the whole family was very attached for the happiness of their beloved little girl, they had to bid where- farewell to let her go to her husband's home in a distant country. A short time later. The whole family sank into a mix of joy and sadness when they received that happiness had been awarded a scholarship to study at her dream dance school in China. Happiness was very happy and excited for her new future, but the family was saddened by another member having to leave. But for the future and the passion of the little girl, the family had to accept her going on to study abroad. The absence of two members in the family. Make the life less joyful. The two little girls in two distant country have to face many difficult, especially homesickness. Peace at least had her husband by her side to help her overcome difficulties and quickly integrate into the new life language. Meaning, meanwhile, happiness struggled much more with living independently. In return, she was living her passion. And that was the main reason for her perseverance. When they miss home, they often re- recite the poem that their father used to read to them about loneliness 
and lonely. It was the poem. It was the poem "Identity" by Carolyn George. I never felt so empty, for to experience this emotional, alone, tear rays, falling heart, pain screaming louder, time standing still, emptiness. I never asked for this. Why loneliness? My eyes sore, my sad and nauseating, my headache at every beat. I pray to the Creator. Memories always listen to the confession of her oldest sister, whenever they call each other. But she truly understands the feeling and experience only when she when she herself have to leave her families to study in Canada. At first, the parents did not accept it, but with her determination about her future, they had to let their daughter go. In a foreign land. She had to acquaint herself with a new language, environment, culture, and face new challenges every single day. She began to live independently without the help and protection of her sister Peace. When facing difficulty, or the comforting word of encouragement from her sister Happiness, whenever she feel homesick or down, despite prepare herself mentally for her journey, she faced difficulty a hundred times harder in real life. The pressure of studying and the language the language barrier was the biggest challenge. Additionally, she had to work part time to earn extra money for living expense. Perseverance is easy to say, but it required tremendous effort to actually practicing it. When tired and hungry, she usually remember the favorite meal cooked by her sister, Remembrance. All she could do now was to face everything on her own, to be independent and as sharp as possible, so that her family would not worry about her. Whenever she felt tired, she would take out her favorite book of the poem, contain the poem from her sister, and read them. The poem. How well yesterday, by Kotlin Gottfredson, which Peace gave her, was particularly confronting. Tired today because of yesterday, I danced so hard my breath exited. My feet say stop, but the drum say go. I try my best to keep up to the beat, but my feet fail to complete the way of the drum. I felt so bad, but my heart no. I try my best. And that's why I'm tired today. For her, whenever she felt exhausted from the life outside, Peace was always the person she sighed out. She would often climb into her sister bed to be hugged to sleep. In those arms, memories always felt an unusual peace. But now, she was surrounded by loneliness and lostness. She continues to gently read the next poem. Staring at the sunset while going down, and listening to the birds chirping, why the wind blow, drinking tea, feeling comfortable, talking my language to my people. This was the favorite poem of her sister Happiness. It reminded her of the moment sitting together, drinking tea, and the conversation with Happiness. She was already ready to listen and offer the most helpful advice whenever memories face difficulties. As of her sister, remembrance, she was the one who taught her all the life skill. Both of them often ran and played together in the forest, on the beach, and interacting with wild animals. Remembrance, love, nature, often taught her about life and survival skill. Her favorite poem was "Wild Animal" by Genevieve McRae. Without the skill taught by remembrance. Memory might not have survived until today. To enable her sister to pursue their dream and live their passion, remembrance chose to stay behind and take care of their parents. She also never mentioned her own dream and desire to step into a new world with anyone. She knew her responsibility lies with her family. At this moment, memory missed them terribly. Miss how they love her, care for her, and nurse her. In their eyes, she would all be the child in need of love and care. She didn't need to grow up, and no one have to force her to. Because of them, the beautiful memories in life, the peace and the happiness of memories, 
with the greatest con concern. She just wanted to go home. Truly, just wanted to go home. Now, each of her sisters in a different place, facing different challenges, life and environments, but she know that they have a common ground, which is their family, understanding and sacrifice for each other. This story is inspired by the poem "My Family," along with some other truths event in my life. It's my reflection on the journey I have been through, along with memories, whether it is beautiful or ugly. I integrate suitable poem to help viewer understand better how I feel and think. This approach also make my story more poetic and romantic. The girl in the story represents stages in my in my life journey, from birth until now. Each state has its own colors and meanings, so I use them to name the girls. The mo the important thing that I want to address in my story is my family. No matter how difficult the path I walk on, my family will always be there for me when I need them the most.